Hi Stampin' Friends, this is Trenna Brower here with a video showcasing the Dress to Impress little purse, the 3D item that comes with the dies when you buy the coordinating die set to the Dress to Impress stamp set. This little purse it can be a backpack, a tote, however you want to design it. Today we're going to do one that's just a little purse and I'm going to be using um, the Love You Always Specialty Designer Series paper. This is the same paper that we used for the card that we did with this stamp set a couple of weeks ago, only this time I'll be using the Sahara Sand and not the Rococo Rose. So let me um, set this to the side for right now. The um, Love You Always Specialty Designer Series paper is available in the January to June 2021 Stampin' Up! Mini catalog. Let me just kind of show you these colors, see if you can see the shine on those. They have this beautiful gold embossing. This is the Blushing Bride color. Then we have the Sahara Sand color that we'll be using today. And the Rococo Rose color that we used earlier. So it's got this wonderful gold foil embossing to them and I'm just adoring these papers. All right, what we're going to be doing today is the little purse, and let me kind of get you started with that. First of all, you're going to take a 6x12 piece of cardstock, and you're going to be using these dies today in making our purse. This is the die that you use for the basic of the purse, and um, with this purse, I didn't have to be too, too careful about the design because my design is neither horizontal or vertical. When you're using something that's just like plain cardstock, you don't have to worry about at all how your um, die is laid out. But if you do have something that is not single colored on both sides, like this has a white side and then my design on this side, I did have to watch how I laid out my die on the card. So um, it I ended up laying it out so that my pieces were like this. So my die was this way, whoops, oops, I got it the wrong way, this way, and then I flipped it and did it this way. So this way I'm sure that my car, my purse is going to go together right with all the sides the correct way. All right, let's move these out of the way for right now and let's kind of get started. When you start with your die, once you get it cut out, the best thing to do is go ahead and do all of your folding before you do anything else. Now, I don't think that you can see it on my video. Um, it's rather dark, but this die has this perforation along the edges, which is to simulate stitching on a purse. But you have a tendency to want to fold on that perforation, and that's not what you do. There are score lines in there where is where you want to do your folding. So try and make sure when you're doing this, you are folding on those score lines. And then once I've done that, I want to go ahead and put my tear and stick tape down because I want something that's heavy duty. I wouldn't use just my normal mono adhesive for this because it is a purse, something that's 3D, and I like to make sure that I have something that sticks very well. So I've got my tear and tape there and here. And then two pieces here, which will be the bottom of the purse. So let's get started. Let me get my, uh, see if I can get my tear and tape off. Put this over to the side. And we're going to pull this one off at the same time too. Get it off. Okay. And now the fun part. I'm going to start sticking it together. So we want to line these two up fairly close. And we're going to put the one on this side, the one on that side, and there we go. And I'm going to do the same over here. Lining up top, just getting it up with the fold. And I know this gets kind of tricky because once it's down, it's pretty much down. You don't have much wiggle room. Now we're going to put that about right there like that. Looks good. Oops. And give it a good press. Okay. So we've got the beginning of our purse. Same here. We're going to give it a good press. 
Now I'm going to take the tearing tape off of this, and we're going to make the bottom of our purse. Pull the little flaps to the inside. This is going down. And then you want to lay the stick them on that side because we're going to pull this over the top and make our little bottom. And we try to get it lined up pretty good so that you have a nice square. There we go. And then I take my thing and just push it down pretty much on the bottom so I make sure I get a good adhesive there. We're on our way. You can make it into a tote. You can fold this up. We got the beginnings of our purse. Make sure that stays down. And we're going to make this edge the front of our purse. Now you can see on this, I've done a few things. I've added my little um, buckles that I cut out of foil. We're going to do a little bit different here. I'm going to add another little piece. This little piece right here, I just took some um, soft suede and went ahead and cut off just a portion of it. So I'm gonna line this on the purse like this. And get out my adhesive and just kinda of put that on. I'll line it up because this is gonna be the front of my purse. And there we go. Okay, now I also have cut out another piece that is, let's see which one I'm gonna use because I cut one that was just not quite perfect. But we're gonna use this. I'm gonna stick this down at the bottom here and then trim off, probably do that. Put a little bit more adhesive and then I'll trim off the excess. Just gonna give it a little bit more dimension down here. This was one of the straps that was the die in my purse. Find my scissors. Cut off the excess here. Oops, didn't stick that down very well. Next time I need to add a little bit more adhesive here and then get that to stick good. Now let's start working on our straps. And I don't know if I wanna go ahead and use the same type of things for my straps, or if I'd rather put these for my straps. I don't know, I think I may go with the Sahara, or the um, soft suede for my straps. So I'm gonna find my buckles here. They were here somewhere, let's see if I can find them again. There we go. And I have die cut these out of foil. A nice cute little thing there. Okay. And these are really nice and easy. I'm gonna just feed them through. Oh, I decided I was gonna go with this other strap, didn't I? And put a, a couple of mini glue dots on here just to hold both the buckle and my strap. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the other side here. Couple more mini glue dots. And then the strap's gonna go on my, 
So I'm going to put them about right like that. Give it a good push. Pull these around. Do the same thing with him at about, right about at the same spot. And as I move along, if I think I need more adhesive on these, I will definitely do that. But for right now, we'll get the idea. That's good. We're going to do the back side the same way. And I'm not going to put that extra piece of um, Sahara sand on the back side just because, yeah, I don't think I need it. So. We just love these little buckle buckles. Um, also, too, on the annual catalog, you'll see in the Dress to Impressed page, um, they have created one of these little purses, too, and, oh, it's just darling. So you'll be able to recreate another one doing about the exact same thing as we're doing here. So let's get this good squeeze there. I'll probably end up adding a few more um, mini glue dots to this just to make sure I have them where I want them. Okay. So there we go. There's our purse. And now the fun part. Um, I do have the flowers from that set. And we're going to just use our Stampin' Blends, and I'm just going to color them in a little. Not anything too fancy. This happens to be the Pink Pirouette um, Stampin' Blends, but of course you can use any Copic or Spectrum Noir or any color combination that you like um, to do this. And I'm not going to be too fancy with it. I'm not going to come in with the darker one and just add some little darker color here and there. Again, nothing too artistic. I'm not an artist by any means, but just to add a little bit deeper color. And then the old olive for some of the, the light in the old olive, just for some the greenery. And then I'd run this through my die cutting machine. And I already have a couple others cut out, along with the little pocket that's part of the die. And then just a little uh, square that's about one and a half by two inches that I thought would be cute to add to this. So let's go ahead and add some more adhesive. And we're going to put this uh, right about there. And then I'm going to add some of the flowers. Let's see. Maybe something like that, put a mini glue dot on there. So, something about like that. And then a mini glue dot or two on this flower. and adhesive, and we have just about got our little purse done. Let's line him up about right here. And I'll probably go back and make sure all these are stuck down pretty well, adding adhesive where I need it. And here we have our little dress to impress purse, and you can always add some stamping to that or maybe initials or something to whoever it is that you're going to give this to. Um, but love it. They're cute. They're fun to make and pretty easy. Thank you for watching. Once again, this is Trenna Brower. You can find me at trennabrower at gmail.com or trennabrower.stampinup.net. Thank you for watching. Bye-bye.